the Pope of Rome is definitely on his uh, horse there, uniting all the world's religions. And we will be bringing to you tonight a special report. Uh, a little later than our normal time there, it'll be live on live stream, but I believe it's going to be closer to about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time there. Uh, and we'll be delivering this message here. What the Pope and his uniting of the world religions means. How this actually affects the biblical prophecy. The things that many of you have been looking for. But in his uh, one of his latest address here that is posted even on the Catholic website itself. He states that in the last 50 years there has been many changes. Not only with the religion uh, but with the Vatican between the Jews and themselves, but also the Muslims, he said, in particular. Of course, that is true. He is definitely uniting a one-world religion. And remember, friends, especially those that believe that it is a Muslim Antichrist, you've been looking for and said many times that the Antichrist that will come is going to be a man that unites a one-world religion. You already see that he influences the political power as a one world global power entity in itself and now a one world religious institution. Why do we keep looking then? I'm Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live. We'll be speaking about these later this evening, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Livestream.com. Stephen uh, Ben Danun, as well as you can catch it right here on YouTube. Shalom. God bless you.